Welcome to another video of my series about Decathlon cycling equipment and clothes. And in this episode, I'm going through the cycling shorts, pads that they offer and which I think are good and which I think are better to avoid it. If you haven't seen my other videos, I have a complete guide about pants in general and also about jerseys. So let's get into it and I'm going to guide you through the world of Decathlon cycling shorts pads. I have divided this topic in two different videos. So one is for men and one is for women as they have a little bit different options and the shorts just look completely different. All right, let's get into the offer for women. Here on this page, you can see the pads that are currently available at Decathlon uh, as part of their cycling shorts. From left to right, we have an increase in uh, comfort as well as in price. And coming with the comfort, they have a recommendation for how long you should feel comfortable in those shorts. We also have some uh, data actually. So they offer the uh, density and the thickness, at least on some of them. And this gives us an indication also uh, about the comfort. So let's start on the left side. We have this uh, orange pad. It is currently only featured in the Rockrider ST100 shorts. This one, it's actually a two layer short, so uh, a tight inside and outside this uh, short style. Uh, it doesn't mention the uh, data, but they say this should be comfortable for two hours. Let's have a quick look what this looks like in reality. So here you can see the material is quite uh, soft. It is a little bit older design. It says BT Win on it. That always indicates this. Uh, we don't have any shape. It's a flat thing. Uh, definitely comfortable from, from the feeling. It's soft and thickness is, is so, so, so I, I would confirm the, the two hours is probably the maximum you will feel comfortable with this. We continue. There is another pad uh, also only on the Rock Rider. And this is uh, featured in the, for example, the long mountain biking tights. Uh, also no data. And if we have a look at that one, this is recommended for three hours. So this is what that looks like. It's a little bit wider. It's gray. It has similar thickness. It's not um, cut into different sections. It has this a little bit pre-shaped uh, format. Also fairly soft and nice fluffy uh, material. The next one is uh, much more technical looking, I would say, and it's in the newer range of Decathlon. It can be found in the uh, lowest uh, road cycling shorts, the 100. And there actually we get some data. It has a hundred density and is 13 millimeters thick. And they say up to three hours, this should be comfortable. Actually, this one has another variant. They look so similar. You almost can't tell the difference. And that can be found in the little bit more expensive ones, actually the 500 range on Rock Rider as well as uh, Van Riesel. And this has a little bit uh, softer uh, top material I could find. And you can only see it in the shop. On the website, they have the same photo there, but they are actually different. And just let me show you the first. This is the cheaper one. You can see the dimples and the top material is a little bit more spongy, not very soft, um, probably easier to clean and um, doesn't get so, so easily stained, I assume. Um, but this is the cheap one. And if we have a look at the second one, they look they're so similar. Um, it doesn't have the the dimples. Actually, inside you can see through the material. They have they have some holes in the foam, and it's it's a little bit thicker. I have the feeling, but they both say 13, and it also features a more soft material. So it's not it doesn't feel synthetic. Um, 
it is like the other two you could see a little bit a little bit fluffy a little bit uh, softer i think i would uh, definitely prefer this and as you can see it's also in the more expensive uh, shorts but those two can be easily mixed up if you order online and i don't know if they do this on purpose but this is yeah a little bit tricky then we have uh, a step up and this is uh, even denser so it has 125 and has also 13 millimeter thickness and this can be found on the Van Riesel uh, Racer and the Rock Rider 700 series so uh, this is, can be uh, comfortable for up to six hours so really long rides um, unfortunately I couldn't find it in the shop i was in five different decathlons they didn't have it and also on the internet they don't show a real photo um you can see the picture they look similar but here it's more of uh yeah uh what is this a six uh, edges shape instead of a more round one so from the pictures you could distinguish and uh yeah this looks also they have like a technical uh, explosion view where they see okay it has more layers i assume um if this is uh, really how they do it and uh, also two pads instead of just one so this seems seems really comfortable um on top of those five pads actually you can still find something in the shop uh which is this and I also mentioned this on the uh, other videos. This is a little bit old technology they use. This is very old school and uh, it still can be found in some of the models. And I highlighted here in red, it actually can be found on the expensive ones because this used to be the top uh, model they had. And uh, the other two here, for example, that is what the old uh, designs look like. And you can see they have yeah, a little bit similar shape. So this is what they used to do. Um, so it's not bad. I had one of those as well. You can ride for many hours, it's fine. But if at the same time they are selling something more advanced, um, yeah, be careful you don't buy the old stuff. Uh, it has a 60 density, so less definitely than the other ones. It's a little bit thicker, so it's compensated. And this can be found on um, the shorts racer as well as the uh, winter cycling pants. And on the website, they are not really honest. Uh, sometimes they show uh, that they have the, the, the other pads, but in the shop, I saw the pants and <laughs> they had the old uh, pink one inside. And you just have to be careful and I assume this is because they are upgrading their uh, product range and they are changing some things from a uh, Triban brand to now the Van Riesel brand and um, in the shop the sticker said okay this is Van Riesel shorts but on the product it says Triban so it's yeah they are in the transition and it's, you have to be especially careful uh, when you buy this not that you get surprised that you you bought something you don't want so let's also have a look at that one we have this uh, video here so it's, it's it's fairly big it's fairly thick um but the shape it's it, it's not ideal it's it's a little bit too wide i would say and uh, those different pads yeah they are so so useful i think if you have a big continuous pad there's no or less a chance of uh, pressure points and this can be a little bit odd especially if you're not wearing uh, uh, underwear which uh, for road cycling is, is, is quite common all right so my recommendation from these actually um, if you are on a budget get the 100 one it's fine it's comfortable it's up to three hours and if you're really not uh, a long distance rider then, then then this is fine and they are super super cheap um but because they are super cheap it's also uh not no, still not expensive if you take the little bit a uh, higher range one so like the 500 series and the uh, racer and 700 series they are still compared to other brands really really cheap that's still a bargain 
and uh, if you know you will ha you want to have this for a long time and you know you want to do uh, longer rides and uh, more and more people like to do this also like bike packing trips and everything then this actually is uh, my recommendation here this is a pretty good investment this is high quality i think this density is is, is amazing for this price and you will have a lot of fun for many years with this product and this is just the best the best bargain they have i would say there are other things they almost feel a little bit too cheap but for this one it's it's yeah it's amazing if you just look at any of the other brands all right so i hope i could help you a little bit with making a, an uh, informed decision on what decathlon is offering and could also show you some of the pitfalls um be a little bit careful when you when you shop online in the shop it's easier but also in the shop now you know when you see those pads you know what they are and uh, you can have a good time then if you, if you decide to get one of these thanks for watching don't forget to give a thumbs up check out my other videos and have a great day